Welcome back to my channel and again Ada is back and uh, today we are going to discuss about universities in Canada with very high acceptance rates. So it's one thing for you to apply to universities, it's another thing for you to be accepted. So you don't want to waste your energy, your resources, so we actually decided to uh, suggest some couple of universities today that um, that you have a very, very good chance of, of um, getting the admission there. So, Ada, do you yes. Okay, so for universities to get into with high acceptance rates, I have like, there are so many of them in Canada where the competition is not like some of those other like top mm -hmm. universities, like the mm -hmm. top 10. And so the requirements are not so strict. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit lenient. Mm -hmm. And because it's lenient, it's very easy to just get in, especially for international students. Mm -hmm. So I have a number of them on my list. So at present now, based on, you know, what I looked up, Mm -hmm. um, so one school is Wilfrid Laurier University. I'm going to give you the list of like these universities with the percentages in case you want to put it on the on the screen. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Wilfrid Laurier University, the acceptance rate is about 89%. Now, 89% yeah. is very high. Yeah. So if you are looking to study for or if you're looking to apply for undergraduate or postgraduate program, right, this is one school to consider. There is also Lakehead, Lakehead University, 83%. Yeah. Wilfrid, Wilfrid Laurier is in Ontario. Lakehead University is also in the province of Ontario. There is Toronto Metropolitan University. Mm -hmm. That one used to be called Ryerson University, but now they changed their name. So the acceptance rate is about 80%. Mm -hmm. It's also, also is Ontario. Ontario like has the most number of schools in um, Canada. It's, it's mm -hmm. one of the provinces with like the most number of universities and colleges in Canada. Yeah. Then University of Guelph is 66% acceptance rate. Okay. Now the highest acceptance rate like ever the mm -hmm. one that tops this list. Sorry if this list is not like in order, yeah. but the one that tops this list is University of Lethbridge. Okay. It is in Alberta. It's in the province of Alberta, where it's in the southern part of Alberta. University of Lethbridge, their acceptance rate is 93%. Wow. 93%. That's like no, it's guaranteed to, to be enrolled. Yeah. I haven't I haven't I haven't yet seen a school that has something oh, higher yeah. than three yeah. percent or like 93 percent chance man that's, that means that you would like when you apply as long as all your documents are you meet the requirements yeah it's almost the requirements. so like having the requirements is one thing right it's still important just because the the requirements are lenient does not mean right so university of lethbridge is one school to consider Mm -hmm. And also, it's also one of those universities that is not as expensive when you compare it to the average for tuition, both mm -hmm. for undergraduate and graduate studies. Mm -hmm. So University of Lethbridge, very easy to get into as an international student. And even if you are uh, from a minority group, right, mm -hmm. you have like an equal chance as, you know, someone else or your other fellow counterparts from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So um there is also memorial memorial university is 67 percent now memorial university is a very popular university for international students it's mm. in the province of newfoundland it's in the eastern like the eastern part of canada okay. and um it is one of the universities with the cheapest tuition for international students mm. cheapest tuition i remember um i think last year i think their tuition used to be around eleven thousand or so either per semester or per year but now this year this new session it increased to twenty thousand. even at that it is still cheap right mm. twenty thousand a year is still cheap for um international students compared to some other schools like for example University of Toronto, that is like more than 30,000. University of Alberta, you know, so Memorial University is one of those yeah. schools. Yeah, compared then, to others, yeah. Yeah, compared to like some average for international yeah. students. Yeah. There is also University of Manitoba. 
University of Manitoba is a com like it's very common. It's one of those very common schools. Like almost every time I make a video, you um, mentioned the always University. Mentioned University of Manitoba. So you should already know by now. Like that's one of those common <laughs> schools that people apply to and get admission. Um, if you apply for undergraduate, sometimes like I've had people who want to apply or who have applied to Manitoba and then they're like, oh, but um, they apply for this specific program and they are seeing that the thing is putting them in a different category. It's OK. That's their thing, because mm -hmm. I think for that school, what happens is if you're applying for undergraduates now, this is for those of you who want undergraduates. Right. You choose a program. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, when they give you admission you find out that they don't give you admission to the program you want. What mm -hmm. they do is that for the first year, right, people take general courses, mm -hmm. right? People take people, you don't have a major, you don't have a concentration in your first year. Mm -hmm. That is what they will tell you. So that's why you see something like university one or something, something like that, right? It doesn't mean you have not gotten admission into the program you want. It just means that, you know, year one is general like you take a bunch of general courses oh, right okay. so at the end of your year one you choose the concentration you want okay. so that moving forward from year two that is where you will now focus okay. on, okay. right for your for your bachelor's so i just wanted to put that out there in case you end up doing your research browsing and you're not seeing you want to get into that particular thing but you're not seeing it there in the application don't worry about it just apply like normal okay. Okay. also university of manitoba has scholarships as yeah. well we have quite a number of them especially for graduate studies masters phd they have scholarships of up to 24 25 even for masters 20 it's about 24 or 25000 or so mm -hmm. um they call it a fellowship and then for phd they also have like that fellowship that will cover you for the mm -hmm. length of time of your your studies um they also have for undergraduate as well then for the next one on my list is University of Saskatchewan. So I hope you guys are making notes. The mm -hmm. names will be on the screen yeah, yeah. In, case, in case you're missing the spelling or the pronunciation. <laughs> the pronunciation sounds, I don't even know, sounds German. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, University of Saskatchewan, so, uh, I believe, uh, don't quote me, but I believe this name is actually of aboriginal origin but don't okay. quote me. So University of Saskatchewan is a very, very good school they are big on research like it's very good especially if you're um into research mm -hmm. if you want to do masters or phd university of Saskatchewan is one of very very good schools to um to attend to apply and to attend but even for undergraduates too mm -hmm. it's still a very good school the acceptance rate is 58 percent mm -hmm. and they have a lot of scholarships for international students they have in quite a number of them. So there's something for everyone there. I think mm -hmm. there is this particular scholarship where I can't exactly remember the name now. I don't keep all this information in my head, but I know there is one for international students where it's like $10,000. So mm -hmm. $10,000 is a lot of money. So yeah. they do have scholarships for international students. This one I know because I've looked into it myself. So the next university on my list is University of New Brunswick. Okay. And New Brunswick, the acceptance rate is 67%. Mm. There is also Concordia University. Okay. Concordia, Concordia University, the acceptance rate is, rate mm. is 78%. Concordia has a number of scholarships and they also have bursaries too. Mm. So yeah, it's one of those schools to consider. Then there is York, York University, especially for undergraduate York University. I've mentioned it before, but yeah. York University, the acceptance rate is 89%. So okay, it's also common. very high, yeah, mm -hmm. for the graduates, right? Mm -hmm. 89% is very high. And then the last one on my list here is St. Francis Xavier University. Mm -hmm. And the acceptance rate is 60% for St. Okay. Francis Xavier is in um, Nova Scotia. The okay. acceptance rate is 60%. Okay. So um, one thing I just want to point out is that for scholarships there are scholarships available and there are bursaries available so if you are trying to apply for admission if you don't get scholarship if you get admission but you don't get scholarship right mm -hmm. it's okay just move on move forward with your application apply mm -hmm. for the right because when you come here right mm -hmm. you'll be able to get something 
there are bursaries for international students, but it's just that with bursaries, right, sometimes you need to be here in Canada before you can have access to, yeah, there are some scholarships that may not be available to you because you are outside, just by virtue of you being outside of Canada, but once you come, once you start, like, at least do the first semester, finish the first semester, right, you'll find out that there are scholarships that you qualify for just by virtue of you being here in Canada and you have already started school, right? Some of them, you won't you won't get maybe because you are outside but when you come in there's mm. something for everyone okay. bursary is one of those things that really helps you especially if you're in dire financial need right mm. so that helps you but with bursaries in most cases you have to be here before mm. you have access to that bursary okay so okay. i just wanted to throw that out there um so yeah just check out these universities lethbridge you should really be, you should really be looking at lethbridge because that has the highest acceptance rate yeah, so, yeah. 93 percent right 93 percent that's wow. that's very impressive yeah, yeah. i've been to that school before and so i know that there is um there's diversity because mm. i saw like many people from like there's there's the international community is very strong there mm -hmm. right although lethbridge is not is not like it's not a very it's not one of the biggest cities in alberta but the international community is very very strong there in lethbridge mm -hmm. i've been there i've seen the school before i've seen all the buildings before mm -hmm. so, okay Ado, thank you so much for coming thank and you. guys please subscribe to other's channel other canada the link will be in the description and also don't forget to watch our videos so many videos about canada and before you go please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys again next time bye, bye.